Special thanks to Motorkar Bratislava Lamač in Slovakia and here is Mercedes AMG Performance Center. What's up guys, Iman here, and this is G63 S 4-door Coupe Formatic Plus So the longest name probably in AMG history So this is actually the fastest production 4-seater Fastest on the Nürburgring in Orschleife I will show you interior later Fixed carbon wing. And you could you can also adjust it. Long tail lamps in the back. 63S name. And AMG emblem. So you can see the rear diffuser and four exhaust pipes. So this car has a chrome exhaust pipes, as you can see with AMG logo on top of them and like a diffuser on the bottom part of the bumper and around the exhaust tips there is a carbon fiber decor so really really nice car So we can take a look now at the alloy wheels So these beautiful alloy wheels have a ceramic, carbon ceramic brakes AMG brakes and you can see that these are the brakes because of the bronze brake calipers of course we have a continental tires and if we go to the front we can see also carbon fiber on the mirror caps so this car has a carbon fiber package you can see a little bronze in the carbon fiber actually really nice really stealthy spec and you have this V8 by Turbo Formatic Plus badge and a carbon fiber around the vent. So really, if we go again to the front, it looks uh, really great. I really like uh, this design. I think it's the, one of the best of the AMG designs. And this car also has these air ducts, so it can close and open them depending on the aerodynamic situation. So this is all automatic. Of course the multi-beam LED headlights, the best headlights for Mercedes and some say it's the best overall. So if you take a look at the rims from this side, we can see the front uh, AMG carbon ceramic brakes. They have crazy stopping power, so you will stop uh, in immediately because this car is uh, quite heavy. So you need these brakes in order to stop super quick. But it will stop great also with steel brakes, but this is a one level up for braking. In the fuel cap you can see the tire pressures. And if you, go to, if you want to go faster you need to put more air in the car. So this car has a limit for 98. So you need higher octane fuel in this car. And really, uh, like you can see also the AMG logo in the tail lamp like a little detail so really lovely car i think it looks uh, the best you have also this website if you go there you can see this car is for sale and also other cars from uh, mercedes slovakia so yeah all in all this is a really really great car i think it's uh, the overall best amg if you want practicality and performance and take a look here you have like a little transparent foil uh, here on this part so as I go with the finger I can definitely feel that it is a foil so it's like a little protection for that part maybe from a rocks or something like that so it's really smart to put there uh, some foil 
So really, it's uh, clever. You can see also this beautiful G63 and a C63S. A lot of beautiful cars here. So let me know if you like more the GT2 door version or the GT4 door coupe version. For me it's uh, really hard to say, but I probably I like this more because it has uh, also practicality and overall it is a more practical car and also with a great performance and with Formatic you can drive all around this car and you don't have any problem. In the front badge you can also see the there are also uh, things for the Distronic Plus for the autopilot. So guys, this is the interior of this great car and I can tell you I really like this. It has a fully automatic seats, memory seats, heated seats, ventilated seats and with this button you can operate the passenger seat, Burmester sound system and it has a, like a matte carbon decor. Uh, really gorgeous car. So these vents, really familiar vents from uh, new Mercedes. Look, and they look like a plane, like an aeroplane jet engine. So on this side you have some buttons for like uh, automatic cruising on the highway, distronic, lane keeping assist, parking, you can raise the car. And this car is in black AMG leather. You have some controls. This is not dirt. It's just a reflection. So these are the controls for the on the windows. This is for the mirrors. You can close them. You need to turn on the ignition. So a really beautiful car. If I close the door, uh, check it out. So this is like a reflection during night, what people can see in their uh, rear view mirror. So really cool. This is a, like a test drive car. It has 8,500 kilometers. And this is the AMG Performance. Dynamica steering wheel with like a great touch here. Really cool to hold and if you have a sweaty hands during summer then this is good. You can have a better grip. But yeah look this is this can be like from a nail so you need to be careful. And uh, yeah of course you can replace it if you damage it. So this car has here a AMG logo. Some hotkeys, let's turn on the ignition. So you have here, where is it? You have here the button, which is like a pulsating. So easy entry. Need to turn down the volume. So you can put this car in many different designs. So this at the moment is sport. It's good because you have a two uh, instrument cluster like in uh, older cars, but you have also the name of the, the, not the name, but the displacement of the engine. So this is a V8 by turbo engine. You can change it to sport. So this probably is my favorite together with the sport. And also this changes. Let's turn on the ignition. 
so uh, also this in the middle changes with the team super sport and this also changes so if I change this to the sport uh, I mean the classic then this is also like a blue V which I don't think this is this really suits this car but maybe on uh, some occasion it could be nice so for me personally sport is better or look it has 360 on the on the speedo super sport so you have a refs here and it has a, like a 3d effect so pretty cool can you see the numbers are like uh, behind the number is like a shade you can see it here also on the 7 so that's pretty cool so I showed many ways many times I showed what you can do with this car so just quickly if you want a full in-depth review like 40 minutes uh, links uh, in the description box down below so just quickly uh, you, you operate with this touchpad you operate this instrument cluster uh, with this touchpad uh, touch area you control the command display and also with uh, with this you can control the command so if I swipe like this press home button and uh, I can swipe like this so this is pretty cool I have it also in the A-class so this doesn't have a MBUX system probably in the future so you can operate head-up display telephone media radio navigation trip AMG perform I will show you this so these are the temperatures uh, actually you can see the car is hot uh, because uh, yeah it was driven recently these are the stats for the car g-force and boost kilowatts newton meters trip we can actually check out how much this car is has a consumption so I'm, <laughs> I'm actually also curious this is probably the first test drive car which I saw with with this much kilometers so 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 21.6 liters per 100 kilometers so this car is thirsty I will put the mpg on the screen in 44 kilometers and this is average speed quite uh, slow speed so probably around the city and this is uh, from reset 3000 kilometers a little bit uh, lower consumption but still quite high but this is heavy car and it has a lot of power so uh, but you can see this is uh, not like a super high number so this, this was driven during uh, this was driven in the city but also probably on the highway and so country roads so I'd say this is uh, normal and if you have a budget to buy this car then uh, you are not really worried about uh, the financial uh, side of the fuel consumption so just uh, for the technical standpoint so yeah you are probably more wor worried uh, how often do you need to go to the gas station you can control also with these hotkeys you can actually control stuff which you choose on the display so if you press on the display then it changes the thing which is possible to select and if you press this then you can turn on or off the feature which you pre-selected here so if you have auto start stop which you don't use in this car uh, then you can turn it on or off if you press you, you have a traction control so probably don't you need to press other stuff to turn it off but I'm not gonna do that so um, you have also AMG right control and which is this so you can have it comfort sport sport plus three modes and then you can press you can have an exhaust exhaust has two modes exhaust has a two modes on or off but it's called uh, powerful and balanced so it's like as a like a, a new name so powerful or, or balanced and in here you have a 
you can you can basically put here also what do you want here so you can have a two things here and operate them with these toggles you can have here also the gearbox so you can shift uh, manually also if you wish so yeah uh, great and with this toggle uh, you can uh, change the drive select so from uh, sport sport plus and it has like a little display same like here so really nice you can change this quite quickly so this is fantastic you have also slippery mode which has a like a reduced mode on the drivetrain if i press uh, into individual uh, right now it has a sport but uh, here you have a moderate sport dynamic and race in the powertrain and in slippery you have actually reduced so this is like uh, you can see uh, snowing and here is also snowflake so uh, yeah you can use this when it's snowing and you are scared that you may uh, go uh, like uh, off-road uh, yeah so you can do that or you can turn on the race uh, race mode in the snow uh, and have fun on some closed road of course and um, yeah, pedals are uh, aluminium, really nice. You have here a control for the uh, windshield wipers and uh, indicators. So, and you can see it there, indicating. So that is great. And here usually sometimes is a transmission, but in this car it's here. So this is like, a, because this is a GT car, four door, but still a GT car. So in this, so in this command display, you can uh, also operate many things, and it is quite responsive as you can see. So here you have a navigation, and uh, that's that. Basically, you have a live traffic, which is a great feature to avoid traffic jam, and uh, you have also radio, media, telephone, connect and vehicle so in vehicle you have seats climate control energizing comfort so uh, with seats you can adjust basically everything like a lumbar support you can make it more narrow more wide uh, depending on your liking you can also have a, a amg performance seats but yeah these seats have a nice amg logo and a folder bag logo so uh, i like that about these seats but overall I prefer the AMG performance seats so in the vehicle section you can operate climate control, energizing comfort which is like um, ambient lighting, uh, massage, everything together so uh, you can have a refresh, warm, uh, vitality, you can have a perfume uh, diffuser in the cabin so uh, yeah this is really also a comfortable car track pace i can show you that because this is uh, the fastest car on the nurburgring so i need to show you this to you so yeah you can have a track race timing new track lap times all tracks so let's check you can you have autodromo algarve, algarve. Uh, fra spunk uh, spa franco champs hockenheim you know, Schleife. So here on this on this uh, track, as you can see, you have also BTG, which is like a uh, smaller. So um, on this track, this car is the fastest period of the all cars, which have uh, four seats. This is the fastest, and uh, that's great. In track pace, you can have also and the, um, where is it, the drag race so you can uh, measure acceleration, quarter mile, braking and uh, you can have a history here so yeah, we can actually take a look uh, because some uh, people which drove probably use this so they um, I'm just trying to analyze so you have a uh, acceleration here from 0 to 50 in 1.5 seconds 0 to 100 in uh, 
four seconds, which is like uh, crazy. And with this heavy car. So yeah, you can see it here like this. Actually, I'm seeing Drag Race history first here. So uh, yeah, that's uh, this was actually 3.3. Check it out on the winter tires. So this is uh, just crazy. All right, so uh, we have a quarter mile here, which you can set and also acceleration manual start or to 300 kilometers which uh, yeah is insane uh, braking so you can uh, measure braking as we take a look telemetry so you can see when you are driving you can see all the things like speed and other and uh, some options all right so you have uh, assistance for like uh, autopilot uh, this tronic consumption so that's the same as we checked out before light settings so this is for ambient lighting you can see here a stripe red so uh, yeah, we can put some uh, purple sky here and you can see it here in the vents and also here in the dashboard so check my videos uh, in the description box where the car is in the showroom and you can see better the ambient lighting because now it's uh, like uh, overcast so it's pretty visible here, but still uh, you can use this um, feature even if it's like a sunny. So no big deal with this. So I will go with uh, for uh, I showed you other colors. All uh, so I showed you all colors in uh, other videos. So check that out. Just quickly, uh, this is a red one. So it has a red stripe, which is like uh, here. And then fire red, which is like a orange and yellow. Yeah, others. So really great, great, great car. So here, this is like a V-shape, V8, because this car has a V8 engine. And in the in the GT two door, it is the same. So this works the same way like these toggles. So you can operate by touching and changing the things here. So that's awesome. The ignition just turn it off so yeah this is great so here you have like a matte texture carbon fiber which is really cool you have USB port here and here usually are cup holders but not in this car so uh, yeah this is uh, new for me but you should have an NFC here so that's interesting here you have uh, controls for the for the AC unit, dual zone unit, so you can change these things here. Exhaust. You have a trackpad here, touchpad, and the gear selector has a falter bug logo AMG. And yeah, parking reverse, neutral, and drive. And here. You have a storage, quite deep, and some USB ports. So these are the seats, as I showed you already. These are the comfort seats, and you can have a AMG Performance seats, which have integrated headrest. So in the glove box, you have a perfume diffuser, and these are the samples for other perfume. You can store sunglasses here and also here is a cosmetic mirror with light so that's like standard you don't have a second here 
second sun visor. Well, you have some speaker here. Optionally, you could also have a here another Burmeister speaker. So uh, on the top there is like a uh, like a Dynamica uh, Alcantara. So this is really cool. I really like this. You can have a colorful seat belt. This car has a black. And because it is uh, specked like that, so you can have yellow or red seat belts. So uh, I'm sitting now far behind, so I will go to the front, like my sitting position would be. So yeah, this is like my position. I put always this, the up the most, and I extend this for my uh, thighs, and put this all the way down. So this is my like my favorite position, like more racing, as you can see. So the lowest position, this is the highest, and this is the longest. And uh, yeah, this is like a, not really up, right? But also not like a lying in the car. So yeah, let's check uh, the back seats. Tinted windows, and you have a heated seats here. Bramaster sound speaker, ambient lighting, and uh, you can open close the window. So uh, take a look. I have a like this is a huge amount of space, also for my uh, knees, because this seat I put it all the way down, so I I have limited space here. As you can see, but uh, not a lot of people are, are doing this. But even though uh, you can push a little bit like here, I mean the feet, you can push it a little bit here, but not fully, because this is uh, all the way down seat, like uh, in the racing position. Uh, you have some storage space here, and uh, and yeah, this is for like a TV would be here, like a display, so you can see how the car looks from the behind, from the rear seats, you can see how the car looks and looks uh, fantastic of course. I really like how this car looks and uh, I would go for the black interior if I would spec the car for me. Uh, because yeah, I really like the black, uh, how it looks in this car. So you have really nice and uh, uh, sh really nice shaped seats here, as you can see. Uh, this is a little bit different a spec as I uh, filmed before because I can see that this have much more uh, lateral support like lumbar support here not lumbar but uh, the bolsters are more thick so uh, yeah this is probably some different spec because you have also this uh, like integrated and here you don't have an armrest you have also charging here for the phone, some USB ports and storage. So uh, okay, also you can have like a row here, first class row. This is for the, yeah, well you can see, you can set your own temperature. Yeah, so one temperature for both rear passengers. Already my seat is hot, so turn it off. So uh, yeah, I can put my seat belt. Here. All right, so I'm sitting here with the seat belt, and uh, it's uh, quite comfortable. So the yeah, this is comfortable. Above my head, I have like a, not full palm, but uh, almost full palm. So a lot of space. I don't see myself hitting the ceiling here. And I'm one, uh, six, one meter sixty, one meter not sixty, one meter eighty-six centimeters. So uh, yeah, I'm a taller person, but I have still a lot of room. So uh, really comfortable here with these uh, with these side bolsters, as you can see. So they hug your uh, back really nicely. So the seating here is uh, really comfortable. So it's like uh, also racing seating for the rear passengers, uh, which is great uh, because um, you can have also, if you're a rear passenger, you can have some sort of uh, 
uh, uh, racing uh, feeling in this car and also you can hear the exhaust more if you're sitting in the here in the rear seats so, uh, so that's let's great. check the boot space frameless doors because this is like a coupe even though a few years ago only coupe had uh, two doors but now there are like a four door coupes like that is coupe sure so uh, yeah really great not sure if you can open it with uh, with this maybe not so uh, should have a here button and uh, you can see here Burmaster sound speaker this is like a net like a, yeah for some things 12 volt socket maybe for when you when you need to vacuum uh, vacuum your boot space and here you have some box and yeah some things and uh, yeah like a little net so yeah fantastic car you can close this with the button also maybe when the ignition is on you can do that so yeah uh, and we will close it here so I really like how this car looks with this graphite magno uh, design of color it's like uh, you would say maybe this is matte black but no this is a uh, graphite color and graphite is like a dark gray so dark gray and matte together and uh, you can see blind spot so actually check out the let's check out the engine so yeah this car was uh, maybe on the highway so uh, yeah some uh, air with the uh, road salt in the induction but yeah some detailers can clean this no big issue so yeah that's that and this is the engine which produces the best sound in my opinion Chris Kistler, Chris Kistler handcrafted this engine for us. So this car has a 4 liter V8 by turbo engine, AMG Speed Shift MCT 9G, so 9 gears. And also this car produces 639 horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque and can spring from 0 to 100 kilometers or 62 miles per hour in just 3.2 seconds. So this is crazy fast and top speed is 315 km per hour so really astonishing numbers for this car as you can see so yeah guys that's it that was the review of this beautiful car let me know how do you like this spec of this car how do you like the sound of the engine so yeah guys so comment down below like the video share it and that's it guys thanks for watching and have a great day and i'll see you soon in the next video